Let's still stay on the NDC, where a national chairman, aspirant Samuel Yao Iduse, is rallying behind former president John Romani Mahama to lead the party in the upcoming 2024 general election. He, however, believes that the incumbent general secretary, Johnson Asiedun Kitia, and the present national chairman, Samuel Yao Ufusuwampofu, did not perform their duties properly, reason for which the party lost in the 2016 and the 2020 general election. He therefore believes that the two should be ousted. Internal general elections within the National Democratic Congress beckons with some party members already filing nominations. The major opposition party is expected to hold its constituency, regional and national elections to elect new party leaders. However, a section of the party members are opposing the re-election of some incumbent national executives, particularly the chairman, Samuel Ofosiampofu, and the party's longest serving general secretary, Johnson Esiedun Ketia. Aspiring national chairman, Samuel Eduse, blames the two for the party's loss in the last two general elections. If someone is not performing, if a party has to be dynamic, you don't let someone who is not getting the results to continue. You don't have to talk about track record. You don't have to talk about, um, I've known him, he's my friend, we have worked together. That's not what you're talking about. We are talking about getting the results. And consecutively, from 2016, 2020, we haven't gotten the results. These two people who have declared their intention to contest played a major role. In 2016, they have an asset. If I talk about an asset, we are talking about the first time that in an eighth year of a party in power, the flabber or the president qualifies to be the flabber of the party. They missed that opportunity. You do not get the results. Second time in 2020, for the first time, we have immediate, we had immediate past president becoming the flabber of the party the major opposition party, we did not get the results. This is how serious the whole thing is. And these two people who played major role in all these two consecutive elections are telling us, moving around, telling us that they want to do it again. Some of us, if, if no one is, I am fed up with excuses. Today, easy. Tomorrow, police. Today, this. I am fed up. After the passing of Jerry Tom Warning, some of us expected that the leadership of the party will make some steps to plan and rebuild the foundation of the party for the next generation. From 2021, 2022, up to this time, I haven't seen the leadership making any effort in that direction. The former Deputy Minister for Works and Housing wants the party to define, identify and recognize the status of ex-President John Mahama. He reiterated calls to support the 2020 presidential candidate to lead the party in the 2024 general elections to regain power in what he termed Block the Eight. So if you defy the status of his president, John Romani Mama, he's a former president, fine. He's the only former president, former president alive in the party, so he's a father, fine. That's the definition. How do you identify him? You identify him that in all this, he has a time to go. And for that matter, he must be recognized. How do you recognize him? If you have someone in this situation, I think that there should be a way of uniting the party behind the person. And that there is the need for all of us to unite behind him so that we can rescue power from the NPP in 2024, so that we can block them from breaking the eight. The National Congress for the NDC is slated for December 17, 2022. For Joy News, Emmanuel Bright Kweku reporting.